family life has been a topic of interest in many aspects. While we understand that the family is the first essential cell of human society, its importance deserves constant attention. Spiritism contributes to humankind, stating that family life can be compared to a living laboratory of experiences and learnings, a school for the education of the soul in its eager pursuit of happiness, which is yet to be of this world, but can be achieved little by little with our actions. The spiritist vision of family differs from other philosophies that cannot agree or do not believe in reincarnation as it offers the idea of family life as being a blessed institute in which beings reunite with one another. With planned programs, trials and reparations, envisioning the future. The belief in reincarnation brings about an understanding for the being that motivates them to make an effort in taking an active role towards moral progress as it is in the family life that acceptance of hardship through mutual help and assistance, patience, tolerance, understanding, forgiveness and love will enable the soul to achieve a higher degree of conscious awareness. With the belief in reincarnation, we learn that spirits who incarnate in the same family especially among close relatives, are most often sympathetic spirits, connected by previous relationships that are expressed by their mutual affection during earthly life. Nevertheless, it also happens that such spirits are complete strangers to one another, divided by past life hostilities that are now expressed as animosity to serve as a trial. Sometimes they reappear in a home under different forms and are called father or mother, son or daughter, husband or wife, friends or neighbors. Consequently, there are two types of families. Families through spirit ties, and families through corporeal ties. The former are permanent, strengthened through purification, and perpetuated in the spirit world through the many migrations of the soul. The latter are fragile like matter itself, extinguished over time, and often dissolved morally even in the current lifetime. The major factor of family disintegration is selfishness, a factor that has played a major role thus affecting our society. Reincarnation allows for the possibility of balance, the possibility of purpose. It is in the family that we will practice the greatest of all feelings, love. Love's practice opens the door to understanding. In marriages, God has willed for individuals to be united, not only through the ties of the flesh, but also through those of the soul. So that the mutual affection of the spouses is extended to their children, and that there should be two, not just one, to love them. Care for them and enable them to progress. If reincarnating together, they understand that if mistakes were made yesterday, there is a need to correct them today. Reincarnation brings enlightenment about dislikes and the sudden hostilities in family circles that apparently have no sense. For this reason, we have in our earthly home a school of self-redemption in which suffering accomplishes its fulfillment.
Education sets a path of growth. Education of all the divine laws that govern our universe. Enriching our soul with the knowledge and understanding of the greatest law, the law of love and charity, will enable a better family life in a society that is constantly changing. When the law of love and charity is finally the law of humankind, there will be no more selfishness. Love is the sentiment par excellence, and sentiments are instincts raised to the height of the degree of progress accomplished. Love and educate yourself. Love and educate one another. Be mindful of charity in your own house. Charitable acts of patience, love and understanding, of forgiveness and mutual assistance. Make use of the advantages of the passing moment. You will almost always find yourself in a family to work out self-purification. Do not avoid it. The opportunity is at hand. Our earthly responsibilities call upon us to be caring amid household activities. There are so many brothers and sisters who feel spiritually lonely amongst persons connected to their personal group through blood ties, and who as a result become very discouraged. It is crucial, however, to examine these temporary corporeal bonds and realize that there are no casual unions in the family household. A place where for the time being, saving and regenerating trials prevail. It would be a grave wrong to overlook the infinite possibilities of this illuminating endeavor. Try to love and to forgive in the home more and more. If you are doing this, you will be able to say, I am accomplishing my responsibilities. Our society is constantly changing, our world transitioning, evolving, calling upon us to be the essential being the Creator is waiting for us to be. Everything in the universe is in constant modification, change and progress. The same can be said about the spirit, incarnate or discarnate spirits. Family life calls upon us to be an active and positive participant in the transitioning and changing society of our modern days. Learning should be our motivation on becoming better beings, acquiring new or modifying existing knowledge about life, ourselves, and the Creator. Learning will allow for us to take an active role in modifying our behaviors, bettering our skills, growing and expanding our values, thus extinguishing bad habits and all moral vices. It is with these enlightening words that the Spiritist Federation of Florida welcomes you to its second seminar, Family and Learning in a Changing Society.